across an article the other day it's talking about um, the uh, um, NCAA and how the system is really set up. I mean, this is one way to look at it. It's set up for um, poor, mostly black players, basically football and basketball, who generate most of the money for college sports. And that money goes to, and who benefits off, so beyond that, beyond the people, all different entities who make money off that. You have the mm -hmm. lesser sports like rowing and tennis, you know, kind of rich kids, you know, rich kids kind of grew up doing that. You know, it, it, it supplements those sports, um, mostly white players, and also supplements the coaches, mostly white, who make millions of dollars. Right. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I never thought about it that way, but that's basically what it is. So it, that, that, that's kind of where the, you know, the idea I to look more into this topic came up. And just to talk about the, so the topic here and the question is to pay college athletes or not to pay them. So I, you know, I did like research into the the money that's been thrown around here. So on the, on the NCAA tournament alone, just that, uh, what, about a month, if that long, for the NCAA tournament, about a hundred million viewers, that tournament alone generates a billion dollars. One billion dollars yeah. a tournament generates. Uh, for So the NCAA in itself, the, 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 the governing body, most of their money comes from that tournament. But if you look at the different, um, you know, collegiate programs, they generate about $14 billion a year. So not the, not the governing okay. body, but the schools themselves. Yeah. Combined, they generate about $14 billion a year. The five major and, conferences. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and so when you look at um, all the different entities who eat enough food of, and, and again, none of this would be possible without the athletes themselves. And yes, they get scholarships. The value for scholarship, you know, it, you know, I say in some cases, it, tuition, room, and board can be up to, you know, like fifty to sixty thousand um, dollars, you know, over, you know, over, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, or, you know, over a year, yeah. um, which is, you know, up, is obviously significant. But not just the colleges, not just the conferences. You have the coaches who are in the top. Coaches are averaging three, four million dollar contracts yeah. every year. Yeah. Yeah. You have the shoe companies, um, you know, making hundreds of millions. And their and they, jerseys and, are not cheap. <laughs> yeah, it, and, yeah and, 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 and so these shoe companies, they, you know, it, you, you basically get an advertisement every time an athlete goes out there. They, you have the Nike logo on their jersey, they have to wear Nikes, and they're advertising for you all game long. And, you know, and then the TV contracts, you know, like I said, like over the next 15 years, it's like $40 billion from TV. So if you look at the whole ecosystem, the, the, the college presidents, the, 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 the athletic directors, the shoe companies, the TV companies, everybody making money. And you know, yes, you get the it's free education, clear. but that's a, you know, it's a lot more numbers I can't throw around or what have you. So um, I start with the obvious question, should, college athletes be paid why or why not tex hell yeah they should be paid all right Shoot. that's um, it okay <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, so the average uh, cost of education for a player is about 65 to 70 thousand dollars per year for four year degree okay so this is the argument that most of these uh, collegiate um, colleges are using. They're saying that, yeah. that, you know, that we're actually giving you this for free. But as you stated, um, they wouldn't be making money if the athlete wasn't on the field performing. Mm -hmm. But um, here's some statistics that I run across as well. 54% uh, of athletes say that they don't have time to study enough mm -hmm. um, in order to pass their classes. Now you have to think about the average day of an athlete. Um, okay, so they get up probably at six o'clock in the morning. 
they're doing their fitness training or what may have you okay they have a meeting at probably eight o'clock um sports wise no matter what the sport is and then after that they probably have to go to class go to class from eight all the way up until maybe one two two o'clock okay those are all the classes that they have to endure after that guess what practice okay after practice you have film after film there's another meeting after that guess what they get home or to the dorm seven eight o'clock nine o'clock at night they have to study for the class and yeah. homework it's a okay, job so probably so they probably <laughs> up until you know another one two o'clock in the morning and probably up at five and this mm -hmm. is a cycle for however long the um you know sports in session five six days a week and forget the weekend on the weekend that's when the games are played played and what what do you do you travel so mm -hmm. you know you're not getting anything done there so it is a job it is a job and they have to actually keep up with the other athletes and their their peers have the same schedule and have the responsibility because they don't have to play any sports you understand mm -hmm. what i'm saying so um, what I'm realizing and I'm reading is that a lot of these college athletes, I don't know if y'all know this, <laughs> take most of their classes online. Y'all know that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. So, I mean, yeah, that that is a, a trip themselves because basically 50 hours a week is, during the week, 50 hours, that is reserved for their specific sport. So just think about that. You go to work 40 hours, you know, a week, and that's enough. You can't wait till the weekend. 50 hours for a student athlete is dedicated to their sport and they have a lot of other things to get done. So um, in itself, that's a job. Not to mention, I mean, I would be pissed if I'm um, going to a game or leaving a game and I look across and one of my peers is wearing my jersey. Yeah. My name on it. And I yeah. know they pay $80 for it. Yeah. And so I'm not getting any compensation. So, and not so, to mention, so, it's, so, a, it's a licensing deal with yeah. your name. You so, don't even own your the rights to your own name. So, so basically, what they do is uh, like they can't put a name on it. Like I remember, like when I, when you know Vince Young was at UT, number ten, number ten burnt orange UT jerseys sold all over the place. It's young isn't on the back, but everybody know you buy that jersey because of Vince Young, and you can't get a dollar off that. You know what I mean? So, and guess you know, what? So, and guess the, what? Same thing with the video game because mm, the video game is also point. a licensing deal. Mm. And you know, one of the reasons why I would say they're def they definitely should get paid is because a lot of these student athletes, after they they go to these very expensive schools, you know, yes, your tuition and board is paid, but you know they don't pay for the books. All right. They All right. don't. I'm going to ask you to make a counter argument, special. Yeah. Argue against what, 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 argue against what you actually you believe. Uh -huh. Before you go there, <laughs> do y'all remember, in, I think it was like in 2014, Ed O'Bannon, he played yep. for the UCLA uh, Bruins. He actually yep. filed a federal lawsuit um, because of what especially, especially just brought it to my attention, and that's what I, mm -hmm. I remembered. He filed a federal lawsuit um, to sue the NCAA because of EA Sports licensing. Yeah. And basically, yep. that was a video game using their name and their on the like, jersey. That, 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 that number. Yeah, 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 yeah. The number. Yeah. That's what they try still, and get around you know, it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You, yeah. you still know who number 13 is. I mean, okay. Yeah. And, um, but their likeness as well on the game. Right. And, uh, you know, I would be pissed as well. I'm like, okay, so I'm playing basketball football with women, have you? Y'all have a video game that I can actually purchase and play with my right. likeness and number on it. Y'all are getting paid and I'm not. But anyway, um, that lawsuit, do y'all know what happened? He yeah. lost. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> right, so yeah, I, I, but today, um, I, it, to, to, today the NCAA made the, the, the change that says that athletes, they can profit off their likeness. So they can do endorsement deals. They can do sponsorship deals. They can do that stuff now. They can't, they can't be paid by the university, but if you want to, you know, go and, you know, sell ads for a local Honda dealer, you can, right? Which you couldn't do before. And, okay. um, 
So, I, I, you know, at Ivan, you know, that that's by him bringing that lawsuit forth and making people have this conversation. Had he not done that, we wouldn't be there. Right, we wouldn't be here right now, where you can actually profit off your likeness. Which you know, it's a it's it's a significant step, but it's not it's not enough, right? Because only the big stars going to really get those deals, right? The other the people who have to you know be you know putting in the same hours, but they're just not on that level. They're not getting the the, the sponsorship deal from the local Chevy dealer, right? So, so imagine the animosity there. You, you know, you QB one, <laughs> okay, and QB two, yeah. you know, is behind me. You know, he's not getting the plane in time. He's in the same him, film session like that. He, he's he, he's my roommate. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. we work together all week. And, yeah. You know, I can go make a five six thousand dollars here, and he's struggling, not making any money. You know, hey, that's not a good look. Yeah, especially. Make the counter argument. Why do I just didn't get paid? Why should they not be paid? <laughs> why, why I gotta be the bad cop? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I didn't say you believe it, but <laughs> all right, all right. When 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 you sign on that dotted line to work, right? Uh -huh. You can't always expect to be paid what your 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 value, and that happens nowhere in no corporation, no business, where people are ever paid as employees what they're worth. So and you said they don't deserve it? Well, no, what I'm saying is because <laughs> of capitalism, uh, they don't think that they deserve it. Mm. Because workers, workers, first of all, um, they, they're, they're not guaranteed anything, right? You, you get what you probably negotiated before, or what the company feels that is fair. It's really never fair, but it's what they consider fair for you. Look, and college is expensive, right? It so is, like they say, like University of Michigan, out of state tuition and board is like 40 grand a year. So shouldn't you be glad that you don't have to pay that? Isn't that enough? If you're, making, if, you're make, if you're making 50 billion collectively of me being present in your organization, 60,000 is nothing. I thought nothing. you were arguing that there's not supposed to get paid. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're arguing. Come on, special stick That's with the argument. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say, they, if they expect the athletes to ever, 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 ever get paid what their value. It's not gonna happen because it's just not yeah. realistic. Businesses don't look at employees like that. Right? Yeah. They look, yeah, and, at and, em look at employees as a means to an end, right? So and, and the, even though you're making a contribution, they don't think that you should get, or you shouldn't get any money yeah. more than we think is fair. And that's how they look at stuff. Let me have a special argument out. In, in the real world, um, the top performers get paid. Plain and what? simple. They still um, don't get paid nothing. They could have, they could get far more un, than they, understood. as much as understood. LeBron gets in right now, he could get twice that. And the profit margin would barely move for the Lakers. Barely move. So, oh, so yeah. you say LeBron is underpaid? Yes. Justice for LeBron. Be, uh, and you still Free LeBron. No now matter. the bus family, that's a whole different story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, about how much they get paid. Yeah, so, um, yeah, like, from the NCAA's perspective, yeah, I went down, looked on their website to see what they said about this. Um, so they said, basically, they give out $3.5 billion in athletic scholarships every year um, to 180,000 athletes. Uh, which averages is about 20, 20 grand per athlete. Um, so that's there. And then they talk about some other stuff that they donate to. Um, but, you know, I, I was looking at a lot of the arguments against paying them. What many people said is, you know, um, how do you determine who gets paid? Does every athlete get paid? Does the, 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 the football player at Florida State 
get the same amount of money as the swimmer? Is it just only revenue generating sports? Is it all sports? Is it the top athletes? The, I mean, how do you, so, let, so, so let's, let's make the let's determination that. that they do get paid, right? right? How do you determine who gets paid and what they get paid? Text, well, like, Mr. Finance. It's based on performance, pure and simple. I mean, just that's what I was saying. In the real world, so the, you know, so you the get backup paid QB can't get their money. For you can get the money, but it's definitely not going to be on the level of the QB one. That's, that's just not the way fair. it is. That's not fair. That oh, is fair. Oh man, that's so, cold so blooded, man. We work, we we work at the same job, okay? <laughs> yeah. So these are in sales, okay? Student in athletes, men, men special. No, we work. At, well. This is a job. We were talking about getting paid. Me and Special are the same job in sales. This month, I sell $100,000, you know, and Special sells twenty five. dollars Okay. Who's going to get the more, most commission? Yeah, but you see, you, you, your, your example. That's sales. That's direct sales. Yeah. Yeah. Before, it's exactly. a little different. You know what I'm you're, saying? I'm, right. I'm, I'm talking about real world. Okay. Yeah, but, 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 but right. when you're playing, you don't even determine if you play or not. Right, the coach determined that. So you can't no, no, say, he, hey. He, he, you're right, the coach determines it, but it's based on your performance. Who's the top performer? I'm I'm seen, you perform I'm, better than your peers, hey. you get paid more. How about the QB and the and the offensive tackle, right? If yes, you 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 are the one who everybody know as the QB throwing those okay. touchdowns. Right. But if, right. I, if I'm not blocking for your ass, then, <laughs> then you don't have who, time who, to throw the, that ball. Who's the most valuable player? They're, they're both valuable. No, One has I, more visibility. It's the most valuable. That, 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 put a that, my, okay, let, let's that left tackle. That left tackle let's is just as important. NFL. You have to let's give everybody. Do, do, do left tackles in the NFL get rate. as paid as much as a QB in the NFL? They, they get a lot of oh. money. And, 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 again, it's That's visibility. It's visibility. No. It's not importance. It's visibility. Name, name me a left tackle. What's the name? For the Texans. Again, but that's visibility. Yeah. That's name, visibility. Name but, 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 but look, on every single play, you see, you hear the quarterback's name. So they are the most that's visible. Right. Being the most visible doesn't mean they are the most important. They're just the most visible. But the QB is the most important player. No, no, no. He, he, he's the most visible. He's not the most important. He's the most visible. Without the QB. Show me, the, show, show me the best QB in the world and take away his, 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 his I, I put in backups for all his linemen and watch if you ever hear that QB's name. I, I guarantee is not the all linemen about, and, about uh, a lineman is more interchangeable than a QB. There are different Man. positions on the line that, that linemen can well, plug and play. True. You only that have one true. or two QBs on the team. Uh, so, so like I said, I, I, but, no, but, but, but I'm, I'm talking about to... as the NFL, if you look at the NFL, the value they placed on a QB versus the value they placed on the offensive lineman. We're in college. That tells you right All right. There. Come back to college, Joe. So, 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 so you, think it should, you think it should be a similar system where no. you have the starting no. QB uh, for Florida State. So, I mean, is it going to be negotiated? Because every, every QB isn't good. Right, some receivers are better than the QBs. You so could, do you? You, can, you, do it, you is, can do it one or two ways. Is it a negotiation? It on, it, there's not going to be a negotiation. That who's going to so be? You're going to need an agent. You're going to need an agent. Let me talk, and I will then. tell you. So how you determine it, Dex? No. You're gonna you're, you're gonna you're gonna basically put it on a tier system based on uh, order of importance, or you're gonna pay everybody a flat fee. Yes. It's gonna be that simple. Flat fee for it, everybody. It, 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 to me, though, like, no, to me, all you can do, I think, college, or else it's going to have to be a negotiation because, like, no. you can't say QBs no get X, you know, receivers get Y. You can't say that because no. it would have to you be could, you, you could, negotiate. You, could, you in any job, you can put a value on the position. Period. No, you yeah, can you can put the value on, the on it, but but still, yeah, so the, the, you, there aren't programs where the receiver or the running back is a much more important player than the quarterback. Of course. They, they, they might be better. They they might be better than at their position. Uh, other receivers, yeah, at yeah. their position. But as as far as importance, no. 
Matt, so like Trent Dilfer. So Trent Dilfer was the most important player on that no, offense. Defense, the defense was. The defense was, but he was sufficient. <laughs> that's that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Point. So it, it's good to be different on every okay, team. Let, let's How look at Trent D-Hop Dilfer's salary versus an <laughs> offensive lineman on that team. D Hop just now. signed. How much did you get? So fifty four million. Man. All right, so <laughs> flat rate. What are we going? So no, you, you have to, you have to make the decision. Rate. Flat rate for flat everybody. Or yeah, starters get a certain avoid, amount. Avoid negotiations. Yeah, flat rate. Flat it's rate for everybody. Starters, for everybody. Yes. Starters, flat rate for everybody. Second tier, third tier. Boom. Done. Allow them to do All their right. ads if they want. All right. To. You know those extra ads. Yep. Allow yeah, them yeah, to do yeah. That. That, that, but, that, that, that side money. But flat that, that's rate still gone. All right, so that, that, that's that. Let, let wow. me tell you why let, I say flat rate. Because you don't want hatred, hatred in your camp. Yeah, I mean, you, 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 yeah, you, I mean, you're a backup, you know you're a backup. You're, you're all students. You don't want hatred on your team. And if one person know that another person is more, right? <laughs> they're youngsters. They're that's kids. Just buy me a world. drink. That's it. Just buy me a drink. Just buy me a drink. <laughs> but uh, but that's gonna cause some all animosity. Right. How about non revenue? So should revenue be split across the sports? Should they, you know, I, sh- should it be based on this? Fo- the football team generates X, so we're gonna split that money. Basketball team generates Y, we're gonna split that money. And the baseball team and swimming generate X, and we're gonna split that. Or is it going to go in one big pot and split it? How, how are we going to do it? You know, it would be easier giving all the schools the same amount of money. They're that could happen. <laughs> it would be easier. All the schools? Yeah. Yes. No. You it, know, it, it, if you're participating, uh, uh, all, all of them don't get the same, the same amount money. of money. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the, yeah. Duke don't make the same as PV. <laughs> right? Alabama don't make the same as TSU. So. Exactly. Yeah. yeah so, but they're not getting the money it, at, it, anyway. It, it will have, have to be on a... Money. It's gonna have to be on a per school basis. Um, definitely and, a per school basis and definitely a percentage of the program itself. You see, this is why they don't give athletes right. our schools. This is why it's not happening because- no, But you know what, but look, but, but, there, there are- no, There's a way to figure it out. There are ways to do it. You know, you know yeah. start yeah. off by doing it, then we can fix it. But we make can. the decision that it should be done. I, 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 I can put a plan in place right now. <laughs> Put up Excel. I, I can have a figure out man, by ten thirty. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Number man. Two. Yeah. So, uh, another system that they, I saw them propose is that basically the schools pay nothing, um, but allow agents to be involved. You know, you no. d- d- what? different animals. Yeah, the, uh, agents uh, uh, again, for the agents, animals. the agents are going to pay according to your their marketability and so they're not going to give you x amount of money if they don't think you're going to be a pro so everybody isn't going to get paid but the top tier players will get paid so what about that model you know i, I not gonna you see those I things mean, I mean, they breed jealousy i'm telling you you do yeah, 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 I mean, there, there would be no cohesiveness in the locker room yeah, i'm like telling you breed jealousy i mean be truth be told they already get their money from agents today just, just take it some on of top of the do. table yeah, and sit at the bottom of the table. Yeah. I mean, yeah, let, let's so. be honest. Let, let, let's, look at, let's look at basketball and football real quick. Um, most of the athletes are, are skin color, okay? And um, they come from um, homes that are, let's say, lower class. I challenge I mean, if you, if you do the oh, stats. Come, yeah. If you do mm-hmm. the stats, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. So um, if they were allowed you know, some type of stipend or something like that um, in order to supplement some income, that would be great. But one thing we have to think about is we're talking about all these student athletes. How many of them make it to the pros, whether it be basketball, football, um, baseball, track? It's less than 1%. Yeah, yeah the majority do not less than 1%. Yep. So, so what I do recommend, I mean, I know we're talking about, um, you know, paying students and things like that. And we do have students watching what we want to convey what I want to convey is get your education because that is going to afford you the opportunity to make more money in the future beyond sports. So let's not basket weaving is not 
know. Yeah, you know. So the, look, I, of course, uh, you know, I 100 percent agree with that. Um, but for one, you know, that kid who's been a star his whole life at every level, right? Junior high, high school. He goes to college expecting nothing less than he's going to be a star and he's going to the pros, right? Oh. And, and, you can, and you can't tell him anything else, right? But yeah, mm. you're right. That's real talk. It's going to be a small percentage of them who actually make it. And, you know, many of them, um, you know, they're they, going to college is simply a step to get to the pros. It's not that they want to go to college and take all those classes. They have no interest in that exactly. for many of them. Right. It's just a step to get there. You know, so I mean, it's the, the system is corrupt in many different ways. Um, I mean, really, even before college, right? With the AAU and the the, the shoe deals, oh, yeah. and you know, yeah, it, it's you know, the, the the amateur sports, you know, it, it, it's it's uh it's not really amateur. It's basically everybody making money except for the athletes, except for the talent. Um, so. Yeah, um, that's speaking not of right. the shoe deals, I don't know if I don't know if y'all know how the shoe deals came about, but I can't remember the gentleman's name. He was a rep for Nike in in the eighties. He actually went to yeah. the college coach. Is it Sonny? What's the name? From yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I know the story. He, yeah. he broke it. He he actually broke the deal for the NBA. Yeah, um, back in the day to help the NBA players uh, make more money. I can't remember his name. I'll look it up. But mm. anyway, he actually uh, um, got on at Nike. Um, approach coaches and basically stated, I will give you X amount of dollars if you have your college students, you know, for whatever, basketball, whatever, wear our shoes. So yeah. they paid the coaches and gave the students the shoes for free. Yeah. Well, think about the exposure that gives <laughs> yes. when college games are televised <laughs> all weekend long and all during the week, during whatever season. So of got course, rerun. Nike's <laughs> revenue skyrocketed. I mean, I can think about uh, Michigan and the five five yeah. uh, shoes that yeah. they had on. I can't remember yeah, that, that, the that. black Nikes. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, I mean, everybody's going on time getting them. You know, everybody was getting them. You know, just because they had them on. So, so the only the only people that didn't profit, you know, from that during that What's time was the five five. Made money. <laughs> and, and, exactly, the students exactly. made nothing. Yeah. So I, 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 as you mentioned about the coaches, I don't, I don't, I don't remember the exact numbers, but. Louisville, University of Louisville, um, they had a deal with Nike or Adidas or somewhere like that. And let's say the number is $100 million that they're paying to the program, right? To the program. The coach, Patino, got 97% of that money. Really? <laughs> 97% of it went to the coach. I was supposed to go through all these scholarships and all these facilities and all this stuff. The, the it, it, I mean, it, it really, it really, it really pissed me off. Just like, just you know. Uh, anyway, it's uh, pay these players, man. Uh,